everybody welcome back to another installment of design with me ashley d and today we are going to be we are going to be adding a gallery wall one of those cool gallery walls that you see on pinterest 50 bucks or less if you stick to what we use in the video i'm going to be surprising two people that you may know if you've been keeping up with my stories we're going to surprise them by doing this nice accent wall here for them and we're going to turn this accent wall into a picture wall first things first how about let's meet our special guests and then we'll give you a rundown of exactly what we'll be covering in our installment today and here's our special guest come on special guest come on enjoy your day Woo! okay everybody give one big round of applause for Aaliyah and Carver Woo! I have to ask you are you guys excited about this wall give me one big yay about painting this wall. Should we paint this wall green? <coughs> Should we paint this wall orange? <laughs> or should we paint this wall black? <coughs> Here's a list of things we'll cover in this video. First, we will prep the wall. Then we will add paint to the wall. Next, we will install our shelves. All our letter D, prep our picture frames, stage our shelves, and finally reveal our outcome. Some of the things you will need for this project that should cost you zero dollars is a lot of the things that you can get around the house. So just like this gallon bucket of paint, I used it as an accent wall on some of the other walls in my house. So I decided to use it for this gallery wall. If you are in need of paint, a quick tip is you can go to Sherman Williams and you have to go there early early on Thursdays and you can ask for what's called their mess up paint and you could try to closely match some of their mess up paint with maybe one of your favorite paint colors that you would like to see on the wall and guess what you can get a whole gallon of paint just like this for how much two dollars so that's another tidbit to help you get paint pretty cheap from around the house is your tray this tray of course has been sitting around my house. We have not used this yet. If you need tips on getting a tray, the dollar store has those aluminum trays and you can sit a trash bag down in the aluminum tray because you will need a trash bag again for your floor to protect your floor from paint. So you can double up and use the trash bag as a protectant so you can reuse your tray and also to protect your floor. Stick, a mixing stick to mix your paint. Now, they do sell these sticks, I believe, at the dollar store as well. I use this to mix your paint. Or you can get a wooden spoon from the dollar store, turn the handle upside down, and mix the paint with the handle of the wooden spoon if you really wanted something more similar to this. But you can really mix the paint with anything. Then next on the list, you will need a paintbrush, a paint roller, and these items, if you don't have these on hand already, you can get these for $1 at the dollar store. You need paper towels for messes and for cleanups. You will need painter's tape. And to set off my gallery wall, some of the things that we're going to be decorating with is this picture ledge that I got from Michaels. By the way, this um, picture ledge, I have two of these, by the way. This letter D that I got from Michaels. And now for the picture frames. I have three different sizes. The first size I have is a 4x4. Four four. These picture frames are from Walmart. This is an 11 by 17 picture frame and you can place it any way on your ledge that you would like. You can place it horizontally as shown or you can place it vertically on your ledge as shown. have a 16 by 20 picture frame and you can place this on your ledge horizontally or vertically. And as far as the picture frames, I have two of the 16 by 20s, one of the 11 by 17s, and two of my four by fours.
plug it back in there. No peeking. <laughs> no peeking. Y'all can't see this yet. Now on to prepping our picture frames. First you will separate the glass from the frame. These are front load frames, which means the glass pops out of the front. Then you will take your picture knife or your scissors and cut your picture to match the size of the frames. And these frames are four by fours. So what I did was I stuck the glass on top of the picture and then I used my knife to cut around the picture to make sure that it was sized perfectly with my frame. Once I'm done cutting the sides, I just bend back both sides to give it a better crease in order for me to tear away the excess picture on the side. Once I have my picture cut down to size, I just stick it down in the frame and then pop my glass back on and voila, you have a finished product. Next is our tricky 11 by 17 frame. The picture that I picked out for this frame is an eight by 10. So I'll show you guys in just a moment here how we're going to size this picture down in order to look really good in this frame. We're gonna start by popping the glass out and removing it. And again, this is a front load frame. So the glass pops straight up out of the front of the frame. And here comes my economical trick. So you're going to flip that bad boy over. You're gonna flip that paper that comes with the Walmart sticker and stamp, you're gonna flip it over to the nice white backside. Then you're gonna pop that picture on top of there and you're gonna secure it with tape. I start in the middle right there and I hit four corners with tape and then I flip it over and I place the picture in the center on top of that white paper that comes with the picture frame. And then I pop all that back in the frame and then I stick the glass right back on top of there. And just remember, before you stick the glass on top, remember to clean it really, really well on the inside, let it dry for a minute, and then clean that outside once you pop it back on there. So you'll have that nice, clean silhouette once you get done.
You ready? Big reveal in three, two, one. Hey, over there, you guys still over there? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 